Hello guys, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones. We are continuing as Stannis a Baratheon. Now 47, we are very much approaching somewhat possibly the end of Stannis' life, or maybe he's got a bit more in the tank. Uh, still following the faith of the law, we have an incredible son who's coming up. He may not be smart at all, but he's a one of a kind fighter. And of course we have our second son down here as well. But we also have our grandchildren. Including one who <laughs> doesn't seem like he's going to amount to much. But then they're very talented brothers. That's also going to be a problem we could face in the future. But for now we're just going to... I assume that's because he's on travelling. Yep. Uh, we're just going to enjoy with this Ooh, a tapestry completed for us from the Stormlands uh, okay we're doing some decent culture so at the moment let's go to our court let's put up this lovely tapestry on the wall here very nice what advice I can invest in the smithing, invest at the jeweler's shop, where I can turn a quick profit. So where's the bonus here? Army's cheaper and holding taxes get an increase. Because this one would be monthly prestige and plus 20% holding taxes. Let's try this. Nice. A bit more tax. We already get so many taxes to start off with that that's <laughs> certainly not a bad idea. And we're up to 10k troops now, which should be, I believe that's, yeah, it's comparable with the Westerlands and Riverlands. Vale, but obviously it's nowhere near the Reach, Dawn, uh, Stormlands, or even the North. Honestly, it's surprising that the, the Stormlands have got so populous that they're more populous than the Reach. It's quite impressive. A grand tour. Um, no. Don't have the gold for it yet. And I'm not sure what a tour of the of, uh, these isles would do. There's not a huge amount of people. Hmm. It behooves a lord to spend time at sea with salty air in his face and a fine vessel beneath his feet. And he sees my personal craft and a small escorting squadron out for drills, practice, and pleasure. Well, he is the head of the Royal Fleet. The short vo uh, voyage has been an exhilarating change of pace from life at court. When we spotted a distant plume of water, followed by a small island of wine-dark flesh rolling out the waves. A whale. We can slaughter it and bring it to shore. We can get the carcass. Can get extra gold, which we'll do. Call me Ishmael. Lady Shilwa has grown of age and is wounded once again. I swear, every time I look over at this kid, she's injured. <laughs> um, we need to find you a marriage, but it looks like nobody would ever want to marry you. You can tell he's in the wrestling. Like, look at that. That's a man who could wrestle. Um, can I get anyone with a good alliance? No. You can literally get no one with a good alliance. Nobody likes me because of her law. So mean. So mean to not like me because of her law. I think I'm a great guy. Just ignore the whole her law thing. Yeah. So being her law means that none of the top lords really want to marry the daughter. Not even you. Yeah, see, minus 63. Oh, I have too many existing alliances. This seems to actually be the biggest factor there. I do have a lot of existing alliances. So maybe I shouldn't have um, done alliances with all my sons. Spanish-y. <clears throat> do I want to pay the bard? Uh, do I have much stress at the moment? Yeah, give me a little stress relief. 
So let's see, it was... So I can declare wars, I can create a new accolade though. Let's recruit you to court. Let's make you an accolade. Still can't invite captains? And if I mean when I can. Lord Kael is my nephew. How? A nephew in law. I see. Interesting. So, yeah, because they married Nacella. Well, it seems like even in this timeline, Nacella ends up down in Dawn. This very weird timeline where Robert is able to live uh, and Cersei dies. No idea what's going to happen with Joffrey, quote unquote, Lord of Dice, though. <laughs> That alone is an interesting name. Eventually, has two other brothers. Let's bit upgrade some stuff. Let me get a workshop built there. And. Let's build up some hunting lodges too. Can arrange a marriage. Oh, Lord Duran wants to fix my problems. Thank you, Prince Duran. Anyone wants to come to my court? He wants to do the. This just seems to give me renown. I don't. It doesn't seem to take any gold from me, so I'm just going to keep doing that. A gift worthy of a lord, a peddler and a cloak, his baubles and knickknacks. That's this one again. It appears to be dominant at first, but by manipulating the friend, one can affect the illusion that a worm has come to life. What? A, a worm on a string artifact? Nah, I'm good. I'm good, honestly. Of all the artifacts I've seen, that's a bizarre one. Let's see, how's Roderick doing? You're almost dead. Because <laughs> uh, their army's grown a bit. And again, they have the reach on their side. So I really can't push this until he loses his alliances. But if we, but getting Theon or Faeron on the throne would be great for us. Because it's, yeah, Shireen's husband. No children yet, though. Interesting. To keep a thought on that. No children at all. Keep fingers crossed. Because if we can push that claim, we can get the Baratheons on uh, the Iron Isles. Hopefully even spread R'hllor there instead of that foolish drowned god. Oh dear, and you're facing a peasant uprising. And you're, you're going to lose. And I can't help. Can I help? Am I allowed to help? Oh, I can help. Let's help. Oh, no, you don't need to rise. That's leave me. I'll get rid of that. The drowned god wants people drowned. The god of fire wants people burned. Why are all the gods such vicious cunts? Where is the god of tits and wine? Take care of these. I've lost my hook on my daughter. Look at that. What a great ruler I am. Come and help me. I know it's totally not because your son that I went and helped. Now Lord Harlan is doing one. Nah. You're cool, Lord Harlan. No need for that. That's Lord Roderick too. He's feeling fine, but whereas Lord El Eldwin is doing incredible health wise because he's got strong and all of those things. So he's reclusive. I wasn't expecting that. Oh no, there's a war going on in Windwater. Interesting. 
We are close to finally getting this conversion done so we can re uh, continue our conquest, which would be very good. Very happy for that. Weird smoke effects going on there. I have to look at look at that and make sure that's okay because <laughs> that may not be good. Uh, okay, with that nearly done. Oh, well, I married my daughter after my arrival, and now he's dead. Oh no, our feud is apparently going to continue now. Lady, I with Lady Maria. Okay, fine. Well, now, Silva has a grandson. But, obviously, Dawn allows women to inherit equally. So that grandchild was never going to have a chance on the throne. Well, not even considered to be a sibling. Oh, because it's a grand... Because it's a child through Ariane. Interesting. So yeah, they were like 90th in bloody line or something dumb like that. <laughs> but they all hate me because they've got the double religious and the rivalry. Side with Edwin, side with Feron. Yeah, I'm not going to reach a compromise. But side with, we'll side with uh, Feron just because Edwin already likes me a decent bit. There you go. The faith in Dragonstone. Has changed so people like me slightly more in my home county. Now let's get some conquering going. As I said, I want to conquer the claw, so let's keep going on the claw. The claw! Securing as much of the claw as possible is going to be very important for us. This is our best way of earning power. If we could get Macy's hook as well, that'd be a huge power. But we're not going to be able to get a claim on there for a little while, I imagine. I'll see if I can get a duchy claim on there after I get uh, these claims on the claw and finish that off. Because again, you know, the crown lands are, are very disorganised. We are more organised. I think we should... Uh, being trusted by the king to take care of more duties here in the claw. That's all. No harm in that. We got Lord Paramount Willis. Okay, he's also allied. Yeah, so he's the one who's allied with Roderick and preventing his attacking. But he is in good health. He's married to Lady Freya. And Freya Footley, very odd choice for a wife there. Already had plenty of kids. She's married to House Farwind. Wait, really? Farwind? Yeah, so she's married to Lonely Light for some reason. Interesting choice. And Brianne Trant is, is Renly's wife. And even they've managed to have some kids. They're based off the hair colour. I'm not sure they're all Renly's. What is it with the Baratheons and not bothering to have the correct kids? Let's help get that control back up after those wars. I mean, he's going to be a long, a, a live a while. So it's, it's his mother. <laughs> Look, we actually allied. So to get the alliance of the Reach, he married Willis's mother, Mace's older uh, uh, wife. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. I don't blame you. Got to get that alliance somehow. So if we look on the religious map mode, we have one little province, pure law. You love to see it, and you have weird. Warring stars spotted all over the space. From what I can tell, Warring Star just appears to be a uh, a representation, so to speak, of um. I'll go by my son's learned the Valyrian language. He's decided to mingle with the locals. I guess it just appears to be a representation of the faith militant, uh, and then you have the Baylorists down here as well. 
so you you have sort of representations of all of the different branches of the faith in in some way or another although the faith militant is less of a a, a religion on its own and more of you know just like the the militarized or like the aggressive version of the faith who needs a the stone guardian needs a successor you can be successor you're called John John. That's the perfect name. Oh, that's a great quality I can recruit. Yep. But that's fine. That's to see the realm actually being properly harmed for once, considering after the, all of the havocs we've had uh, more recently. He wants to forge a brooch. Um... At 120, sure, go forge me a brooch. Uh, I can en enjoy a nice bit of rest. Everything uh, here I has been so havoc filled for a little while that it's good to get proper rest. And now we're in debt for a little while, but it's fine. We'll move you on to. Do I want to take one of these or do I want to. We'll play the long game in Stone Dance. I can't afford a maester, so we're not going to hire a maester just yet. So I've been a little havoc for, and with all the illnesses I had, and now the constant rain. It's not fun, but hopefully it'll be better soon. Listen well, Arlen, my wife must be heard. Hmm. So chance of making it lower quality, but I believe in the 44. Shit. <laughs> You're telling me the higher odd thing is more likely to happen? God damn it. How could I have seen this coming? Um, let's see. I'm going to take that odds because I don't want to give away the favor. And now someone else is also offering me a loan. Shireen is offering me a loan. I don't need a loan from Shireen. And I don't need another reliance from this one. Well, we're out of debt, so we can declare war now. Let's raise our armies and point side and get to work. Take the strong cliffs, complete the claw, so to speak. Job be good work. Silver is gonna marry wants to marry who? House Toland. Hmm. So the ghost hills in dawn. Okay, well she already chose, okay. I thought it was it for some offer, but no, they it was her she's already made her decision. else join the war yeah I don't imagine you being much of a threat I'll probably have captured the stone cliffs before she's even able to do anything a child of my dynasty Shireen and Theon have had their first son and we'll name them a good stormlander name are they a stormlander in culture they are Godry. What a powerful name Godry is. Uh, let's split this army. Send 4,000 up to... Hmm. I suppose the siege equipment must have stayed in that siege then. I imagine they're probably going to come up this way anyway, so it's better to have another army ready to intercept them Roderick has come of age and he's oh very good he's a fortune builder nice job son you may not inherit the titles but you've done your dad proud um does it do we need more renown or pie we'll take some renown because I've not much need for piety I already am a pious man even though I'm not. 
would have thought it'd be more pious, uh, that, or at least that the converting dragon serum would give me a bit more piety. That just makes sense to me. You know, that converting uh, your, your capital would help you get more piety. It's understandable. I see some roe deer antlers. Gives prestige, so I'll take it. Uh, let's reforge that. There we go. See if you can capture someone if you, if you please. Look at that, just 32 commander advantage. What a legend. Stannis just turns the usually princely title into an actual bloody normal title. I only meant to send half the army, but for some reason the entire army went, but whatever. Um, he's merely decent, so I don't care. I only want the best of the best working for me. So, yes, yeah, so Lord Roderick can marry. It's very awkward that the best options for him appears to be his nieces. Which is not great. Hmm. But, you know, also, like... <sighs> this would ally us, uh, ally us with Macy's Hook. But it could also get... No, give his future generations a claim on Macy Hook. And he's unlikely to inherit. So, hmm... And a bit dwarfism in his family line. Are they going to be inbred? Probably. But we're going to take this chance. Why not? They're only cousins. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. <laughs> Famous last words. Oh no, Gerion Lannister died. The most based Lannister is gone. At 61 years old as well. Keep these armies together. Because I can already get the all of Macy's hook will be mine. It's gonna put me in debt again, but whatever. Uh, can we get an iron? Let's get a loan from the iron bank to pay that off. And we'll just sit on a while and not buy many things. Arlem's brooch. We'll take that. There we go. Uh, I'll need a medium bow uh, alone, yes. And then we just sit on it until we can pay off the loan. But it does get us a claim on a Macy's hook, which is a wonderful claim to have. Because that's the quickest way to get ourselves just nice and powerful. Ed Stannis wants to be powerful. I mean, look at this man. Tell me he doesn't want Macy's hurt with all the conquests he's already done. We're, you know, the Dragon's has always just been the princely title under the Targaryens. And we've helped turn it into an actual title. Something to be, to be proud of. Uh, let's grant this to... Donald Rainwood, he's in the claim that he's a Stormlander and he's a law. He seems perfect. You shall be granted Strong Cliffs. And then we will grant you him as a vassal. As I said, when I succeed as him, I'm going to separate these two titles. But for now, it could be one title there. I can declare wars, and I will do again. The Stone Guardians keeps running out of successors. How much would you cost? Ah, that's too much. I think we're just going to go right to war. Unless they have anyone strong with them. They do not. Okay, we're going to go straight back to war. Uh, let's move the rally point. 
this is Stannis's like late in life. I'm just gonna conquer everything I want. Uh, period. Which you know everyone has eventually. It's like a late in life crisis, except you just want to conquer everybody. If you go siege down Sweetport for a while, yeah. Just go waste your time sieging Sweetport. That sounds like a wonderful idea. But I see siege down your capital. And I drink your milkshake. <gasps> I am enjoying the duck at my feast when I suddenly feel my throat swell. My limbs growing slow. I can feel what is coming, but I can do nothing to stop it. It's not long before my vision darkens and the distant shouts of laughter turns to horrified screams, slowly drifting away from me. I had so much to live for. I was murdered. Well, how the hell's that happened? We're gonna lead this army ourselves. Um, do I? I don't need this. Bell beak, and we'll put the Rodan, a Rodan, Ro Antler instead. But wow, Stannis Baratheon is dead. It appears he was assassinated, died under mysterious circumstances. Well, what I want to do is I want to get investigating this because I'm a little suspicious. So let's get a spy master who likes us. You will do. And we'll sway to make sure that you actually properly like us. Uh, Everyone hates me here. We'll go with you. Put you on domestic affairs. Get that up. And then you actually already like us. So that's fine. Imagine, can I get it up to four? Is there no way I can get that to four? That's a shame. I can freeze the best I'm going to get there. Uh, we can already give away crabs for return to... Alright, all my sons are already have lands, don't they? What type of do you have? You have point side. So what we're going to do is I want to grant you... What vast... Uh, what duchy already is this? I need two more to create claw points. So we're not going to do that yet, but I will eventually give him a claw point. And Crab's Return is going to go to... Oh, you're in Sweetport. So I guess my son in the scales will also grant him that. And that's an easy way to fix that. And, hmm. High Tide or Drift Mark, which will I give away? That gives a prestige. We're going to give away Dragomon because I can take Dragomon back at any time. So we're going to give that to him. We can reclaim that at any time because it's a title beneath us. Ooh, an intrigue focus. I've not had this in a little while. Let's go and try and get some natural dread. I think dread's going to help us a lot here. Maybe the uh, Bravos will forget our bet. Because it's, I, I didn't own the debt, my father did. Uh. Okay, hopefully they'll be reactivated soon. Yeah, they'll re enable next month. I have a new daughter, um, Alison. Lovely name. There we go, all the buildings are reactivating now. Oh, this is still a bit of a dilemma, though. I wonder, now that you like me, am I able to get you to... Can you find some secrets in Drexler? No, because I don't found my secret, right? Well, I'll do it anyway, just in case it was a courtier who killed um, Stannis, because I do want to find out who killed him. But considering the rivalry we have, I would not be surprised if it was someone from Dawn who was behind it. And she already seems sickly enough, so maybe not Maria herself. But I won't pretend that we're we're heavily liked here, you know. Our, our change of religion means everybody at least starts off disliking us here. And we're a, a hostile religion. 
And that's kind of what is our main problem, is that we're so isolated compared to everybody else. We can only fend for ourselves. And the way that something is a good thing uh, in this game is to limit the amount of allies you can have, because you can get just absurd allies in um, CK3 and basically instantly win the game. But being completely hated also isn't that wonderful a thing. We're putting us very much ourselves very much in a in a risky position here. Yeah, that's a fine. Let's not pay too much for that. But we are we are properly hated now. Does my brother like me at least? Not even my brother likes me. Oh, because he has his claim of high title. That's fair. And I'm also a little bit of a sinner. So my heir is still dump Lord Humphrey. But again, I Lord Edwin just seems so incredible that it'd be foolish not to give Lord Edwin a chance at the throne. Wow. He's changing my contract. He's taking me money. Robert, yeah, dick. Give me my money back. I'm no longer mal malnourished. He has a new alliance. The hunters keep trying to join our wars. I swear they joined a war uh, earlier as well in the claw. Let's siege Macy's hook. We can go, if that doesn't work, we'll go kill this army as well. Yeah, she's joined the war. I still should have the, the numbers here. And they're some of the siege. I oh, know she got there quick. And then they give up the siege for some reason. She actually just came along to sabotage them, apparently. <laughs> to stop doing the siege altogether, even though they almost had it. If you're going to land on Sharp Point, I'll go kill you. Feron will serve me well. I seized an artifact, too. Wonderful. Let's go take care of them in Sharp Point. Lord Oliver has been murdered. Oh my god. Everyone's dying. In a uh, in a pedic or a milk of the poppy addict. That's a terrible one. I must press on. That's what he would have wanted. What a shame. We'll destroy that. Yes, a bit of gold. Stay alert, my boy. My boy. Peace is for is what all true kings strive for. Seems like all my kids keep getting beaten. Can ransom off prisoners. I'll keep them for now. Keep them for this one. And also destroy the bell breaker. Can no longer pretty fails. I don't know why he decided this su uh, <laughs> seduction stream uh, scheme is what he wanted to go for. I'm losing a lot of men in this war. Yeah, but look, I mean, they caught us in a really bad uh, battle here. And I was wounded in this battle, too. Alright. Doesn't seem like it was someone at our court, then. Well, disrupt, disrupt schemes, then, because for all I know, somebody could be scheming on me. Yeah, see, there was a spy was discovered in our court. 
and we'll banish them. Let's get back into our lands to see if we can replenish some supplies because I'm a bit worried by how much men we're losing. It looks like they're fighting a civil war at the same time, though. There we go. We're recovering a bit, so we'll just sit here for a little while. He, he has demanded Arlen's brooch. <sighs> He's going to keep demanding every fucking thing from me. Um, I'll give it away, honestly. I'll just give something to my brother to try and appease the, the relationship there. It seems like he hates me. And I could do with at least one person who likes me in court right now so that I don't get constantly assassinated over and over. Let's clear them out. Humphrey has now come of age. And he's a, he's a dutiful captain, so he's not bad. Obviously, his brothers seem like they're true prodigies, but, you know, not, he's not an inherently bad ruler either. And Edwin loves all of his children, even if Oliver has now sadly passed away. Meaning now Sweetport's been given to Lord Ronald. Never heard of him. Yeah, this civil war seems to be helping us a decent bit in getting these sieges done. I mean, with Edwin, we now have to wonder if Edwin will stay with the faith of the law. I imagine he might, but you know, maybe the next generation may pass on from the faith. But you know, he's grown up with this faith. Basically his whole life he's been faith of the law. Stannis trained it well in him. That he should should worship this god. I'm sure he'll train his kids to do the same. God, he's killed a lot of people. He's murdered people. Wait. He... His kills... He murdered his first wife? He murdered Sorella, his first wife. My god, and then these two he executed, but <laughs> maybe I need to start thinking about um, Edwin in a different way, because this does not appear to be the honourable man that Stannis was. This is, this is something. Ooh, can I really resist a chance with the Riverlands? I think we take that, even if they hate us. I think that's a good marriage for us. In the medieval times, that's what you'd be looking at. You'd be looking at, oh, what traits the best? You'd be looking at, oh, which bloody alliance is best? And that one is, is a hard one to refuse. And now I'm ill already. Send for a maester, please. We have a new maester. Help me get better. I don't want to be ill. Okay, excellent work. Should be with it. We are... Yeah, we're fine. We're 33. Yeah, so it's Edmir is currently the, the Lord Paramount. He, the Graceful. Interesting name. And all it would take is one little murder. And suddenly... We have a chance on the throne here. Surely people might like to come join our uh, little secret. Nothing wrong with a friend or two, right? each down this. 
great. Um, would lose it, have terrible advantage in both of these is the problem. But it kind of seems like I'm left with no real choice. I'm going to take keep taking attrition no matter what I do. God's sake. I don't want to take any bloody attrition, but I take it constantly. Uh, let's capture Stone Dance then. Robert's still alive. Outlived uh, Renly. Uh, sorry, outlived uh, Stannis. But when Stannis gets murdered, you know, there's not a lot you can do. I still have to wonder who did it. At least we know Edwin didn't wasn't behind it. Though Edwin's behind the other murders most foul. We're gonna need all of us to siege them. Or to attack them there. Let's just try and get this siege done first. So our siege would take six months. And theirs would take 12. So hopefully we can get the siege done in time. Make concubines of my prisoners. I don't need to again. I already have one. Okay, we, we are no longer ill. I was a little bit worried when that thing came up. House Maria. Yes, that's what it's basically called. I can make him my nemesis. Yeah. We'll, we'll renew this feud. For all I know, you may have killed my bloody father. It looks like he's he won his... Oh, no, wait, no. You're a separate ally. God, just constant allies keep coming to join and help him. Fucking, he learned about the scheme. Damn it! Yeah. We'll, we'll end the scheme. Edwin is also a dutiful captain. Once again, Edwin looks like he'd be a very good uh, leader. Very good ruler. Ah, what a shame he joined the war. Too late. Disband those armies. And just like that, we have a new duchy under our control. Macy's hook. And everyone here hates us. Oh, Lord Humphrey is the one who had inherited Sweetport. Okay. Well, the rest of our vassals seem to be starting to like us at least. So we can keep some fingers crossed there. And let's start fabricating a claim on Bronze Hog. And I think I will also to try and appease you. What if I grant you Macy's hook? Yeah, now you like me. <laughs> A strong duchy of sharp point. Add some ransoms to get us a little more gold. Well. Fetch Lord Edwin and bring him to me. My inner circle must prove themselves to be financially sound. And he's accepted that counter offer. Wonderful. Well, what an interesting situation we found ourselves in. We are now feuding with the House Martel. I will find my son something to marry soon. But we are also looking at a new ruler of Dragonstone Edwin Baratheon. He's suspicious of the circumstances that have of what happened to his father. He, it makes no sense for his father to die at such an age, and he knows the world of intrigue better than most. I mean, he's killed more than most. After learning what happened to his first wife, I'm beginning to believe, and how much his second wife hates him, I'm beginning to learn that Edwin may not be the kind man that his father believed he was, and that honor may not be so important to Lord Edwin. So it looks like we're going to do a 180 in how we're playing our character. 
because we're going to start looking at stuff through the eyes of intrigue. And we also have to wonder if the honourable faith of the law is truly for us, or if perhaps we may return to the faith of the Seven, just to get more people to believe that we could be rightful should the bastard Joffrey take the throne. But that will be determined in the future. For right now, Lord Edwin is just enjoying the power he is earning, the strength he is showing, and just how mighty he's making Dragonstone. But he's going to definitely keep his, eye, his uh, eyes over his shoulder because he knows how to play the game. And he knows that everybody is going to have him as a target. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then.